Inoculating wood logs with mushroom spawn can be a big undertaking, but with a few helpful hints, you can make the process go by quickly and have lots of fun while doing it. The first thing you must do is collect all your tools and supplies. You'll need spawn, a drill or angle grinder, freshly cut logs, and some willing workers. If you are using sawdust spawn, you'll also need melted wax. While you can easily inoculate logs from start to finish all by yourself, larger inoculations benefit from work crews with a complement of four to six people per drilling station. If you are inoculating by yourself, construct a standalone bench that is at a comfortable working height and holds several logs. You'll want your logs fairly close to the inoculation table to eliminate extra handling. As you select your logs to drill, clip away little branches or they will prove to be a nuisance during the inoculation process. Make a note of the larger branch wounds. If possible, you'll want to wax over these larger wounds to delay moisture loss. Here is a simple inoculation table that allows a single driller and waxer to keep pace with up to two pairs of people inoculating. This inoculation table consists of a wood frame with a pair of lawnmower wheels at both ends. The table should be constructed from about hip to waist height so nobody has to bend putting strain on their back. The wheels allow for the logs at the drilling and waxing stations to be solidly cradled and facilitates easy turning as the logs are drilled and waxed. Drilling is often the bottleneck in the inoculation process. Low speed equipment can cause the driller much frustration. No. Newer drills will complete the task, eventually. Well, that's much better. Go back. An angle grinder, turning at 10,000 RPM, fit with an angle grinder adapter and drill bit with a stop makes drilling almost effortless. Sawdust spawn is a popular choice of spawn for people inoculating over 200 logs or if you are planning on inoculating logs every year. It is an economical spawn but requires extra tools and steps. Once you are set up though, the extra cost is often well offset by the spawn savings. If you are using sawdust spawn, you'll want to use a 6 to 8 inch by 2 inch drill pattern. Start 2 inches in from the log end and place holes about 6 inches apart down the length of the log. That's about 5 to 6 holes per row. Turn the log and start the next row two inches from the first row. Stagger the holes so they are halfway between the holes drilled the row before. Do this around the whole log. This is called the diamond pattern. Sawdust spawn comes in a filter patch bag and can look like a big loaf of bread. White, crusty looking growth underneath the plastic is actually the mycelium of the fungus and should be mixed in with the sawdust in the interior of the bag. The sawdust, though it may not appear white, is fully colonized by the shiitake fungus. Knead the spawn in the bag until the spawn is broken up and pourable. Dispense a small amount into a clean coffee can or other container. Spawn bottles are a nice container to use because the lids are outfitted with a foam plug which allows the spawn to breathe without drying out for future use. If you don't plan to use it all, it can be stored in the container. If you plan on using the spawn over the course of days or weeks and don't have a spawn bottle, return the unused spawn into the filter patch bag and clip close the top for storage or punch small holes in a coffee can lid to allow the spawn to breathe. At Field and Forest Products, we have three tools available for inoculation. Preference for which tool to use depends entirely on the user. Everyone seems to have their favorite. The thumb style tool is a brass tube outfitted with a spring-operated handle. This tool is ideal for small, crooked logs that require one hand free to hold the log while inoculating. As you inoculate, frequently check the holes to make sure the spawn is packed in the holes firmly and level or slightly below the bark. To keep spawn from packing down and impeding total fill in the tool chamber, occasionally shake the spawn to keep the sawdust particles aloft.
The dual tool is a stainless steel tool that is lighter in weight. It can be operated either with the thumb or the palm. It is also shorter, so if you are using the spawn bottle, you'll have to cut it down a few inches. The palm tool is almost identical to the brass thumb tool, but is outfitted with a heavy spring and a comfortable wood handle. It is meant for using with the palm of the hand. When preparing to inoculate with plug spawn, shake the plugs so they are free flowing and pour them into a container. Thick white growth around the plugs is normal and will peel off the plugs as you pound them in. Because the diameter of the plugs is narrower than the diameter of the inoculation tool used for sawdust spawn, you'll need a smaller drill bit, 5 16 inch or 8.5 millimeters. If you are using an angle grinder, you'll also need an adapter in the 8.5 millimeter bit. The adapter will serve as the drill stop. You'll also need to tighten up the inoculation rate. Drill holes every 4 to 6 inches down the length of the log and 1 to 2 inches between rows. Plug spawn is a popular choice for people who are inoculating under 100 logs and don't want to invest in any tools besides a hammer. Inoculation is straightforward. Just pound the peg into the hole. After the log is inoculated, the log is rolled down to the waxing station. Wax is melted in a deep fat fryer shown here until it is hot enough to make a sizzling noise when applied to the inoculation site. This is 350 degrees Fahrenheit, or just below flash point. You'll use less wax if you are able to get it this hot. Use a paintbrush or wax dauber to apply the wax. Tape the daubers to a stick if you want some distance between your hand and the hot wax. Daubers eventually lose loft with use but can be doubled up to extend their life. Plug spawn should also be waxed after inoculation. Either use melted wax as for sawdust spawn or use a softer cheese wax, such as plug wax shown here, to smooth on with your fingers. Thimble spawn is a good choice for mushroom growers who have high labor costs or for those wanting the benefits of sawdust spawn, such as fast spawn run and no waxing. Thimbles are made out of a compressed oak sawdust and have a styrofoam cap attached, eliminating the need for waxing. Thimble spawn comes in a molded tray. The trays are shipped in a plastic bag. Make sure to keep the trays in the bag until they are ready to use. Use a 12 mm bit with stop for thimble spawn. You'll want to use a 6 to 8 inch by 2 inch drill pattern. It takes a little practice to remove the thimbles from the tray without them breaking apart. It's best to cut the molds and strips 2 thimbles wide. Using gentle pressure from the bottom with one hand, pop the bottom of the thimble upward, grabbing it with your other hand. Insert the thimble into the hole, making sure the styrofoam cap is well seated in the hole. If the styrofoam cap comes loose while removing the spawn from the tray, save it and press it on top after the plug is inserted. Having a record of the work you've done helps assess your results later in the field. Embossing the inoculation date and strain and any other relevant information on a tag and stapling it to the log end will help you make future log management decisions. At Field and Forest Products, we wish you great success with your project. Mm -hmm.